Hello and welcome to the 40th video in this beginning programming C series. So last video we took our first look at structures and in this video I want to look at something called type definitions which make the code we need to write for our structures a little bit shorter. In C you remember that we have types we can use. We've used ints, we can use float, car, double and these are all variable types. We can also inside C define our own types so I, and we do this using a keyword called type def in this way so type definition and then we say what kind of type we're defining so let's say it's int and we give it then a name so I'll call this my int and now in wherever in the code I use my int it will be actually an integer type so if I just go down into the main function and let's butcher this new line print statement here and just print an integer there if I now define an int and call it num and say 3 and then we'll print num and let's just save this code and I'll bring across the terminal here and cut, compile should be fairly easy to guess what it's going to actually do we get then our 3 here printed to the terminal and I can also exactly in this same way use my int in this way and if I bring across the terminal this will compile and the compiler has been told that that is an int type and therefore we get a 3 printed again to the screen now obviously in the case of the int it's not really worth using a type definition for this because it's a keyword already in site C but where we can do this is for our structures for example I'll just delete the code out of the main function here so we have a nice clean new line and what we can do is we can take this type def and I can actually put this in front of our structure here so I'm saying that our structure of name of which is s car and these four part or variables inside the structure here it's going to be a type and I'll call that car that call that car type in this way and now exactly as when I used my int I can use car type anywhere that I want to use this structure and it'll be treated as a type so in the place of struct s car in these three places in the code I can now use car type instead which shortens the structure greatly uh, sorry the code greatly and even better is I don't even need then to name the structure anymore the compiler doesn't require it it's being told here that we're defining a structure with these things in it as a type which means we'll be using this and anytime we do this is what will be used in its place which is this structure so we don't need to name the structure anymore either so there's quite a bit of code saving there and if I just move up to the terminal here and then try and compile this you see it compiles and then when I run this then we get exactly the same information printed to the terminal as before okay then so it's a rather short and sweet video but it's something that needs to be in because I use this a lot and we'll be using it a lot in future programs in this series in the next video we'll start looking at pointers to structures so thanks very much for watching comments questions criticisms welcome as always on YouTube